Hey sis, Lucy, you're alive? Yes, that much needed trip out of town was exactly what I needed, to come back ready to face the world. Oh no, you do not get to do that. What could you mean? Why don't I get to do that? I was gone for a while and now I'm back. Now that you're back, do you know that mess you left? I know that the divorce was very hard for you, but... You could have communicated with us for the past few months. Otherwise, you would have known that your crazy mother-in-law found your house and she's staying in it. She's no longer my mother-in-law, though. I call her by her name, which is Janet, not after the way she treated me. My reputation was ruined because of her. I still don't get why you allowed them to spread lies that you cheated. Well, he was supposed to tell them in his own due time. And I was just so shocked by everything and heartbroken. How could I tell our parents that my husband was gay? Yeah, I know, but you could set the record straight and tell them. You don't have anything to lose. He's the one who left you and broke your heart. And now his mom is staying in, staying in your house. How did she even get access to it? I don't know. None of this is making sense. Let me talk to her and find out what her deal is. I'm also sorry that you haven't heard from me for the past six months. I haven't been doing well mentally and needed to escape from all this after the divorce. I couldn't handle seeing those two together. I forgive you, you're too kind. You could have revealed the truth so that no one could accuse you of being a cheater and being barren. He's gotten away with barely a dent in his reputation. Look, you don't need to know everything just because you're my sister. I'll deal with the best way that I know how. You also know that his family would disown him if they found out. I don't see how that's your problem. He broke your heart. I don't get why you still have a soft spot for him. When he says jump, you ask how high. We were married for over eight years. I thought he was my soulmate. Allow me to grieve. I'm sorry, don't get too upset. I'll back down and let you deal with the situation. I do need to see you. You have to meet me. I'm sure she's just as beautiful as her mother. Sounds like a plan. Hi, I recently came back into town and I heard that you're living in my house. Why? I needed a place to stay and I knew about your house. This is why I've been staying here for two months. Why did you need a place to stay? You have a house and a husband. I know that you left this house when you divorced from my son. And that's not an issue. I just need to stay here for a while. I'm dealing with issues at home. I know, but I can't help you if I don't know how bad it is. I know we ended things on bad terms, but you never tried to be good to me throughout the marriage. Please, let me know what the problem is. My husband lost a lot of our property in gambling. Why not stay with Sage then? He lives out of town and I couldn't bear to tell him. So you thought to look for my house and thought it'd be a good place to live? Yes, I need a place to stay and you have one. I'm sorry, but I can't let you live here. Why? It wouldn't be appropriate, so I need you to leave. Appropriate, so I need you to leave. You're gonna have to make me leave. I cannot believe this! By the way, we thought you'd never come back after suffering such an embarrassment. Now imagine how it'll look if you kick me out. Your entire family is rotten to the core. I need you to leave that house. I am not going to leave. You need to get your mother to leave my house. That's not my problem. How dare you! After all that I've done for you. Look, let her stay there. You will not miss that house. You have many more assets. It's my marital house. She did not buy it. She must leave. Why didn't you call the police? How could I call the police on an old homeless woman? Please, take your mother and live with her. I don't have space for her. Plus, I'm enjoying living my life freely away from the family. So, I take it you're still in the closet, and you'll do anything to protect your secrets? Yes, I will. Do not forget what our deal was when we got divorced. I know what they own after that. It's bad enough what you did to me. Like I say all the time, I'm sorry that I wasted eight years of your life, but I've repaid you for them with something that no one else could have given you. And I think that makes us even. Stop bullying and gaslighting me, Sage. Or else what? You'll expose me to my family? Yes, I can do that. No, <laughs> you'd never dare. You frustrate me! I'm sorry it has to be this way. Just allow her to stay. I'm sure she won't be a bother to you. Uh, that house has been empty since the divorce. I can't do this right now. Thanks for being unhelpful. Hey, it's been too long. Now you have to leave. 
No, I will not leave. You've even started to change things around the house. So what? It's my house for now. It belonged to you and my son, so I have every right to it. You're being unnecessary right now, and I'm done being nice to you. You're the one who asked for this, do not forget. What do you mean I'm the one who asked for it? You're in a- What do you mean I'm the one who asked for it? You're an illegal occupant in that house. No, I am not. It, it also used to be my son's house. I feel like you're doing this just to spite me, because I respect you and your family too much to throw you off into the streets. But my patience is wearing out. You have two days to leave that house. After those days have passed, there's nothing which I can do to save you. Do not make yourself too much at home, okay? Whatever. What is wrong with you? Harold, we have nothing to talk about. Why are you talking to me right now? You had her evicted. How heartless can you be? She took over that house out of spite for two months while I was away. Was I supposed to just let her get in my way? I don't care what deal we had. You were not supposed to go back on your word. We, we signed contracts. My word was not disclosing the fact that you and my husband were cheating on me in exchange for what I wanted. It had nothing to do with allowing my former mother-in-law to take over the house that I sold. You house? Yes, it was empty. I sold it right after the divorce. Now leave me alone, I do not want to talk to you. Thanks to you, she has no home now. Then be a good son-in-law and give her money for a place to stay. I cannot believe how selfish you're being after I, I saved your sister Rosie's life. Do not start. No. I think I need to remind you that your pregnant sister was on the verge of passing on because she needed an emergency kidney transplant, and I gave it to her. After you and Sage told me to give him a divorce and take the blame for everything, now you won't even let me forget it. You may think it was sick, but what could I do? You refused to give him a divorce. You claimed to still love him, and you wanted to expose his secret to the world. I was heartbroken, and you didn't have to take advantage of that. Well, I didn't. I saved your sister now, and she and that beautiful niece of yours are still alive. There's no reasoning with me right now. It's out of my hands. She cannot stay in that house because someone else owns it, so it's much better for her to move on. She's paid my life hell. I had to keep on telling the new owner to wait for a while before she moved in because she'd taken over. I know that she did it to spite me. Fine, I'll let this go only because you sold the house and there was nothing to do about it. Good, now leave me alone. Issue sorted, the new owner kicked her out. Why did that take you weeks? It doesn't matter, let's just celebrate because I'm back in town and I don't have to deal with my mother-in-law anymore. She's gone. Cheers to that, I bought some stuff for little Danny. You'll love it. Thank you so much. I guess I'll see you soon. Set an extra plate for dinner tonight. I want you to meet someone. Someone? Someone that I've been dating. You know that our parents are coming to dinner, right? Yes, I do know that. I want them to meet him. How come I've never met him? We've been keeping things on the down low. Oh, really? He's a doctor. He's never been in. He loves kids. Is that enough? Oh, a doctor. Gosh, please don't start. I know you and the parents have this thing against modern medicine, even though it saved your life the time that you were carrying Danny. Yes, it saved my life, but so did prayer. I survived without any surgery. You know how we feel about those procedures when they do implants and all that. It's just not natural and can lead to bad health. Maybe that's why our parents suffer from many health conditions, but they think prayer is the answer. Good luck with introducing the doctor to the parents. They're gonna be thrilled. So, you didn't even wait a year before you moved on. And with a doctor, I'm sure your parents are thrilled. Please focus on your family's debt and not me and my love life. Your son moved on, so I'm allowed to. What do you mean my son moved on? Nothing. 
No, no, I need to know. I assume that he just moved on. Just back off. I deserve to be happy too. A wolf. I deserve to be happy too. A woman like you who cheats and is barren does not deserve to be happy. Your parents might act holy, but they raised a tramp. I don't think that they'll have a problem with the fact that you're dating a doctor. My love life and my parents' religion are different things. Get that straight, and I never asked for your opinion. Well, if my son did move on, then I assume it's with someone way better than you. Someone who is actually good for him and will support him. By support, you probably mean someone who will allow your family to treat them like crap. You're just sour because you got kicked out of that house. Be careful how you talk to me. I deeply dislike you and I have a score to settle with you. Come at me, why don't you? I don't know how I'm gonna survive this week. I probably should buy a lot of snacks and spend the weekend indoors watching movies. Or I could gym. There's the gym right below my apartment. Do whatever you want. Just make sure that you don't steal the equipment. Aim, dear sister. Oh, please, cut it out. I know what you did, and I don't think that it was legal. If you were not my sister, then I would have got you arrested at this very moment. What do you mean? Why don't you ask your doctor friend who did the transplant on me? No, he did not. Yes, he did, and I saw the proof. No, he didn't, and doctors aren't supposed to disclose that stuff. Yeah, I know, it's called doctor-patient confidentiality, and because I'm the patient, I have the right to know. But it could have not been Ray who performed your surgery. Someone gave me a tip-off about it. I promise that I can explain this. Allow me to come to your house and I'll let you know. I did it because it was the only way to save you and the baby. But why did you not let me make the choice? It was because I thought you were not going to make the choice to save your life. I know that our parents are against it and you are too. I did what I did for you. If I was in the same situation, I would have done it for myself. But there's more to this that you must know. I'm done keeping secrets from you. Someone is out to get me. Fine, but it better be good. Hey, how are you? Hey, Lucy, can I help you with something? Nothing much. I just wanted to come and fetch some of your documents. When I unpacked, I realized that I had them, and I thought you might need them. Okay, I'll drive into town and get them. Or you could courier them. Whatever works for you. Or I could send my sister if you don't want to see me. She can come to my house where my parents are staying, uh, at around 7pm. Perfect. Because I don't want to bump into your mom. I think she and I have had enough interactions to last a lifetime. Tell me about it. And Lucy? Yes? I heard that you're dating someone. I'm happy for you. We broke up, but thank you for being so mature. I thought we had a deal. What, what was that? What do you mean, what was that? You know what it was. Your sister exposed the truth in front of my parents and part of my family. She came in here angry, saying that we had sabotaged your relationship and that we would not win in trying to ruin your life. Then she told them that I'm gay and living in the city with my boyfriend. How could you tell her that? She's my sister. I tell her everything. About that, she found out about the transplant. Someone told her to talk to the doctor. It wasn't me, I swear. Harold? Not him. He knows that it could cause catastrophe in our lives. And I'm still not ready to come out. It has to be my mom. But your mom didn't know about it. She must have found out somehow. So how did she react? They kicked me out. I'm so sorry, Sage. Sorry doesn't fix anything, so keep it to yourself. Hey, Sage isn't picking up my phone. Can you tell him that I'm sorry? Sorry that you exposed him in front of his family? I'm sure that he'll calm down soon. They love him, and I'm sure they will not neglect him after all he's done for them. Are you sure? Yes, the truth was bound to come out at some point. It'll help him lead a freer life. If they don't accept him, then it's their problem. He's better off without them. You really love him. I'm so... 
I'm so sorry about how I've behaved towards you in the past. No, it's fine. I understand that I did ruin your marriage and then convince you to say you were a liar and barren so that he would get a good reason to divorce you. We put you through a lot and it was very ugly in the end. Wow, I didn't think you'd ever apologize to me. Let's all put all this in the past. Just a bit of advice, I think that you should give your doctor a second chance. Love is love, and you don't have to allow anyone else to tell you who you can love. I'll think about it, and my parents will come around. They didn't like him the first time they saw him, but I'm sure if they meet again, they will get along very well. I love such a positive attitude. I think it's safe to say that we're good now. How long have you known? It was the reason that we divorced. You should have tried harder to make him stay. I could not do that. He is who he is, and we have to accept that. If you had told me as soon as Harold started influencing him, then we could have done something. You were with him for eight years for crying out loud, and he loved you. I don't get why you couldn't do it. What were you lacking, and are you even barren? Yes, I am. I never lied about that. But I also didn't want to make it public knowledge. I was also hurt by what happened, but... He's happy now, and I've moved on with my life. No! I refuse to accept that my only son is gay. He must be going through a life crisis because of work or something else. There must be a way to fix this. We're just starting to recover financially now. We have to deal with this scandal. We shall be ruined in the whole town. You'll see. It's not a big deal. He's still the same person. Plus, Harold is a good man. He saved my sister. You know that, right? I do not know such a thing. And never mind all of that, dear. We must meet. I have an offer that you cannot refuse. You think that I would want to meet with you after all that you've done? You must be crazy. If you have anything to say, I want to apologize for moving into your house and taking over. I hated you for what I thought you'd done. That is crap! You've always hated me! I was wrong to hate you, but I need you to do me a favor. Work with me and I'll make sure that you regain all the respect you lost. What do you want? I want you to seduce him. Get him to fall in love with you again and leave that man. I know you still love him. He completes you and you must fight harder to keep him. Hey, why did you not respond to me? That was a very good offer. No, I won't do no such thing. You're messed up. All of you are messed up and I cannot believe that even divorce didn't stop you from meddling in my life. I've been waiting to move on for months since I came back from vacation, but it's been one thing after another. Allow me to get my life back on track, please. Do you not love him? He loves you, you. I know for a fact that it's possible for him to change for the right person. Wow, you're truly out of your mind. I will not entertain this. Leave me alone at once. Hey, you. Hey, did you manage to get a hold of him yet? No, I'll keep on calling. If I was him, I'd run and never come back. He has the worst luck with a devious lover and a mother? Why do you see that? Harold was the one who sent you that text, so that you could talk to the doctor. That way the contract would be breached and I would have revealed the secret. No, wh why would he do that to someone that he loves? He's tired of being kept a secret, so he made a crafted plan so that the truth would be revealed. And if Sage's family didn't accept him, guess who would be waiting with open arms? How did you know this? Some digging, but that's not all. For his mom just asked me to seduce him and turn him straight. What is wrong with her? That's what I've been asking myself. With, with the drama that she has, you'd swear that Harold was her son. Both of them are liars and schemers, and poor Sage doesn't know about it. Are you going to tell him? I'll have to. He deserves to know. Even though he hurt me, he did give me some of the best years of my life, so... I think I owe him that. Just be careful. Also, I can't believe you told me that I have Harold's kidney. 
Do you think he'll ask for it back? Nope, it doesn't work like that, and I think that he'll have even bigger problems to deal with. You're right. Hey. Hey, are you well? I've been so worried. No, I'm fine. I'm very fine. I needed some time away so that I could deal with what happened. I'm sorry, once again. I'm also sorry for what I'm about to tell you. What is it? Harold anonymously told my sister about the transplant so that the deal would be off and I would expose you. He did it because he was tired of being kept a secret. I know. You know? I suspected it. I found your text messages the other day, the ones from weeks ago when you argued. When this happened, I thought of him because he's been putting some pressure on us to get married. I'm sorry to tell you that. Now that you know, what are you going to do? I'm going to pack my stuff. We're going on a break for a while as I figure out what to do next. Are things any better with your mom? She has not come to terms with it and my whole family hates me. I kind of know how that feels if you want help with coping mechanisms. Gladly. Hi, just wanted to tell you that you're not welcome at my wedding. Whoever said that I'm coming? You tried to get an invitation through one of my wedding guests. People tell me everything you know. If you're still bitter because I'm getting married to my fiancé, then that's your problem. If you had helped me these months ago, instead of getting engaged to the doctor, you would have made a smart choice. I heard your parents, and they did not RSVP. My sister is going to be there, and they'll come around. So, what was the plan? To gatecrash my wedding? No, I didn't want to do that. I don't want to attend your pathetic wedding. Pathetic? Wait, I didn't mean to say it in that way. I've been trying to get in contact with you for a while. I knew I should have blocked you. He stopped supporting me financially, and now wants to send me to a home, along with my husband. What about your other relatives who were so quick to chew him out? They don't want to help us because he's brought shame to our family. Despite being such a schemer, you're sure dumb. So your hate is so much that you'd rather go into an old age home than support him. It was your fault. You and that Harold. You did this to him and you owe it to me to fix this. Since you will not go ahead with the initial plan, then you better give me money. Money? Please, the house is in his name because he helped clear our debt. So? That's not my problem. A few weeks later. Hey, stranger. Hey, sis. How's the honeymoon treating you? It is utter bliss. Do I have news for you? Mom and Dad came around? Well, they did agree to come to your welcome back home dinner. I told them that they were acting childish and that it was not for your husband, then Danny and I wouldn't be here. The whole thing made me realize that maybe I need to be my own person, like you. I'm glad they're coming. Once they give Ray a chance, they'll love him. But I wanted to hear the news. Sage and Harold are getting married. Wow. Yeah, out of the blue. I'm happy for him, but I hope this time Harold will not screw him over like last time. Facts. Hey, heard about your engagement. Thanks, and congratulations on your marriage. Thank you. Just wanted to let you know that Mom and Dad have accepted my marriage. Really? Yes, because we're expecting. But you can't have kids. Thanks to Sai, now I can have my own kids. Mom cried tears of joy. I'm so happy for you. Now Danny will have someone to play with. I can't believe that I'm going to be an auntie. You know, I'm glad that all that happened these past two years happened. It led me to this moment. I never thought the pain would stop. After what happened. Pain does not last forever. You're right. But that mother-in-law of yours sure did get her karma. She had to, after all the stuff she did to me over the years. Now she's stuck in a home with no one to visit her. That's what happens when you push people who love you away. 
I now live in my beautiful house with my husband, and we're expecting a baby soon. Sage ended up leaving Harold at the altar because he wasn't ready to get married. After that, he left on a soul-searching journey, and I haven't heard from him ever since.